Hi viewers this is Salman and you are watching Mr Alaises today i have this OnePlus 9 Pro and my aim is to update it and then root it to gain the administrative controls over it so in order to root or modify this device first we have to unlock its bootloader then we have to install the custom TWRP recovery and after that we have to root this device by using magisk patched boot image So the first step is to unlock the bootloader of this device. The unlocking process is simple and easy. First we have to open the developer options, go to settings, go to this about phone sections and tap same times on this bill number. Now you are a developer. Now go to this system. Now here the developer option is enabled now. From here just turn on this OEM unlocking options. click enable and also enable this usb debugging now connect it with a usb cable with pc connect this phone with a usb cable with pc now come to the windows interface in windows we need the adb and fastboot environment installed so make sure that you have properly installed all the drivers and the adb and fastboot environment for this After that just open CMD by any method I am using this modified Windows 11 and I am just opening CMD from here you can see that command prompt open here Now just reboot this phone into the bootloader interface by using a single command adb reboot bootloader now it enter now you can see that this phone is rebooting now in this bootloader interface this is its bootloader interface Now here it is in a fast boot mode. Now just type fast boot devices. To check that this phone is connected in a fast boot mode or not. Now you can see that this device is connected in a fast boot mode. But make sure to backup your important data because by unlocking the boot order of this device, the the all data of this device is going to be wiped. Now from here type this command fast boot oem unlock issue this command just hit enter hit enter and on the phone screen you can see this type of screen just by using this volume rockers volume down and select this option unlock the boot loader now by using the power key press like okay now it's going to unlock its boot loader you can see that the boot loader is unlocked warning is here it means that now boot loader is successfully unlocked now it will take a few seconds to land on the home screen after successfully unlocking its boot loader the second step is to download and boot the custom TWRP recovery into this device i will place all the download links of this TWRP recovery or other software and files needed for these operations in the description below you may download from there at the end of this video I will place a link of a video that you might possibly interested in so it successfully landed on the home screen now just I am going to fast forward all these sections to save your precious time now its boot order is successfully unlocked and the whole device is wiped so in the settings we have to check that again we have to enable this its developer mode Now you can see that OEM unlocking mode is grayed out. Just turn on this USB debugging from here and leave this aside. Allow this USB debugging from this computer. Check mark this always and click this allow. Keep it aside this device. Come to the Windows interface. We are in this Windows. From here, I will place this link in the description. From here, you can download the recent most TWRP version TWRP image for this device and the. The remaining process also mentioned here. So first we have to edit the reboot boot order, then we have to fast boot boot TWRP image, and then we have to install the recovery from the recovery advanced menu there. So I already downloaded this TWRP recovery image here. So what I have to do in this CMD window again? I have to type this ADB reboot boot order. Now it's rebooting. Here you can see the device is in this fast mode mode, and now it's unlocked. 
So now carefully listen. There are two versions of TWRP that I downloaded. One is TWRP P 3.7.1. That's for Android 12, and currently I am on Android 11. And here you can see that this is TWRP 3.7.0. That's for Android 11. What happens when I flash this TWRP 3.7.1 on Android 11? Then it will just stuck into the Qualcomm crash dump mode. So first I will show you by booting with this TWRP that is on 3.7.1, but my phone is on Android 11. So hopefully it will not work. Uh, but you will learn that how to tackle the error. Now again, type fast boot, boot, and just drag and drop this TWRP recovery here. And just hit enter on Windows interface. You can see that now it's downloading the boot image, and and after writing this TWRP, it will try to boot into this TWRP, but it will not succeed into it. And instead of it, it will just boot into this Qualcomm crash dump mode. So how to bypass this error? I will show you. Just reboot again in a fast boot mode by holding this volume down key and power key for a few seconds. you can see that this is the stock recovery not the twrp1 so from here go to this advanced reboot this fast boot mode and reboot this fast boot mode and in a while it will again boot into this fast boot mode it's rebooted into this fast boot mode now this time try to boot with this twrp recovery so type fast boot boot and now grab this version of twrp which is for android 11 Grab this here. Just hit enter, and I hope that this time it will successfully boot into this TWRP recovery. And successfully it booted into this Tamwin recovery project TWRP. So from here, what we have to do first, we have to back up all the things what we can do, except this data field because I don't need this data because. it is started from scratch so i have to this boot this boot efs partition that is the important most efs modem and super our system image uh, that includes all the system files now we can enable this compression and from here just now swipe to backup so i'm just going to backup these all files it's now backuping all these partitions that we have chosen and after completion of this backup process we have to move this twrp backup folder into our computer actually it is done almost it completed its backup it's around about 11 gigabyte okay this is another bug if the back key is not working sometimes if it is not working like from here so you can click on this advanced tab from here it will go back now by clicking on this restore button You can see that all these partitions were backed up, so we don't know. We do not need to restore this right now. So let's come to this PC screen. As you can see that this the internal storage of this device is automatically opened here. Open this internal storage from here. Locate this TWRP folder and just move this TWRP folder from here to this desktop or elsewhere. So it will be on the safe side. So it will take a few minutes to copy. all these backup partitions so the transfer is now completed it's around it's around 11 gigabyte at this time this twrp recovery is just temporarily booted so from here now we can permanently flash this twrp into this device now just from here we have to select this flash current twrp module so here flash current twrp you can see that just so i have it Now it's now this time it successfully flashed this TWRP permanently on this device. So again we can check by rebooting this device into recovery again. Either we can check that either the TWRP is persistent or either the stock recovery replaced. But the TWRP is persistent and it's working. We can even check the restore partitions from here. You can see that everything is working fine. So thank you. and this is enough for this video and i hope that you really enjoyed this content and if you did then do not run away without smashing this red subscribe button i will see you in my next until then keep smiling